And welcome back today guys to the channel top 10 drifts of the week finally back on this Friday man first and foremost I do want to apologize it has been a three week hiatus since we have posted up on top 10 man. now there is a reason for that obviously like I said I was traveling quite a bit these last couple of weeks and you know just so many things happening all at once and time was definitely a factor that I just did not have enough of so hopefully you guys are still here and returning for our first episode back on top 10 man. and I gotta say number one this week is probably one of the craziest number ones I have seen in a very long time so make sure you guys do stay locked on this episode for the duration also too we have some really damn good montages at the end of it i will leave all of those links down below for you guys to check out but this week though i was going through a lot of the clips you know backtracking over the last few weeks i still have a lot to open up yet so if you guys feel like you should have been in just hold on man. and hopefully it will be coming up I did want to give a quick shout out to Fake Pleb Master. We're playing some Burnout Paradise right now, and I don't think I've seen somebody whip it this hard coming on the downhill, man. This guy is nitrous blazing, just ripping through. We also had Adolf coming through in his Venom, just scraping all up that damn rear bumper. Unfortunately, could not hold it. We had Claws coming through, Takami style on the damn sewer grate right there. Have a quick look on the third person action. Just killing it there, man. 8-6 Assetta Corsa. I definitely want to get into some more Assetta Corsa this upcoming week. I'm thinking about maybe doing an Assetta Corsa week. I mean, I don't know if that's something that you guys would like to see, but leave it in the comment section down below. Also, too, I was going through a lot of Grand Theft Auto 5 really nice kind of no mods just online drifting clips that i think i may want to start getting into you know maybe start hosting some more lobbies online on xbox and really get you guys involved in some open lobby videos okay, so let me know your thoughts down below on that we also had a bunch of forza horizon 3 parking lot simulator clips coming in this one senpai johnny and ryan Zio just killing it with probably one of the cleanest sessions that i have seen here in the parking lot and i really do hope that the next expansion for forza horizon 3 is going to be you know some type of parking lot expansion i'm just, I'm just kidding man. but just imagine the possibilities if we had a parking lot expansion man maybe they'll make it happen one day i highly doubt it though we also had this one here coming in from rocket league on the pc i thought this was really cool this man is towing down something out of tony hawk pro skater man he goes for a 50 50 switch up on the land he was killing it nonetheless and representing that fast and the furious charger man i don't know if you guys seen it yet already if you haven't seen fate of the furious well you better go check the damn movie out because spoilers are popping up left right and center i'm not going to ruin it for you guys on this episode but next week i'm hitting some spoilers up if you guys haven't seen it by then that's on you man not on me now of course top 10 wouldn't be complete without an irl clip of the day man we have ian mcginley and James Wickland here with Team Tanushimu just ripping it up here at their local event right now. Single camp KA for Ian. James in that SR20 DET, man. Just ripping it around. Two full laps, raw footage. I will leave the full link down below for you guys to check out. But uh, watching these guys get some doors, man, is definitely getting me hyped for this year's track season. I see a lot of you guys asking Slap, when are you going to be revealing the project car? It's coming in the next couple of weeks. Make sure you guys do stay locked on the channel for that we also have a really nice follow cam i'm gonna let you guys just enjoy this follow run man check this out just killing it as usual big thing we're sending in that clip number 10 though let's get started man damian ruff grand theft auto 5 futo in the snow and he's looking for some big angle man he's actually going to hit a semi reverse entry it's pretty damn close the best part about it though is that it just looked legit man i really did like that didn't really go over the curb it was clean man. number nine tofu eco with a crazy jump drift out of nowhere man just Flying through the damn sky on that, having some fun. 
I like that, man. Number eight, Exodus Rule X Forza Horizon 3 with quite possibly the craziest entry on this section that we have seen. Now, you're going to see him understeer a little bit right there. He is on the controller just trying to correct his line. I don't think he really meant to do that, but I will say, though, he handled it very nice, fixed up what he needed to do, and just held it out, man. I really did enjoy that. Number eight, Forza Horizon 3. Number seven, D.E. Chris R. Now, I don't unfortunately know who this man is following, but he's on Indy right now, practicing for some ESDA. As you guys know, it is happening in about, I do believe, a two-week to three-week span. Uh, we do have the two being locked in next week on Thursday, so if you guys have not already, I will leave down the links for ESDA so you guys can sign up and hopefully get your tunes in and get into some open qualifying. And if so, I'll see you guys then. Number six, Boa, Gran Turismo 6. Now, he is ripping Circuit de la Sarthe right now in his R34. Now, in the email, it said it has 960 brake horsepower, man. Just an absolutely absurd amount, but I really enjoyed this line for the simplicity of it. Just seeing some huge angle coming in, looking at that smoke trail. Now, by simplicity, though, just to clarify, I'm talking about, you know, just seeing a single clip running solo, having some fun, and just trying to maximize every single section that he can. Obviously, 960 horsepower will get you there, as you see. I mean, the guy is just fighting to keep this thing sideways, and he is definitely having a blast doing so. But a lot of you guys are saying you want to see the channel go back to the roots of drifting, you know, some grassroots stuff. I definitely feel on that. Would love to keep seeing more clips like that and grassroots style coming in. But uh, number five, though, we're going to change gears, bring this over to PS4 right now, Drive Club. We have Frosties in his C7 vet murdering this section on the downhill. Now, let me just say right now, this game is absolutely extremely difficult to hold angle. Now, I don't know if this man is on the wheel. If he is, huge respect to that man. But Drive Club, no easy task to link these corners. And this man is having no issue whatsoever doing so. My respect goes off to this man for just killing this line. But it kind of makes me want to do the save. And I want to get on here, hit up Chili, which is the actual track that he's running, grab this damn Z06, and throw some candies, man. Online, I don't know. Would anybody join me? Let me know in the comment section down below. I think that'd be pretty damn crazy. But we also had the replay angle coming in, which also shows some damn difficulty coming through this section. Obviously, the power will get you there. But like I said, though, this game is, you know, it's totally different than anything else that I've ever experienced on the wheel. It just has that kind of feeling to it that you know it's drive club but the difficulty is definitely there so i respect this clip for what it was man just killing some sections having some fun once again i'd love to see some more drive club clips coming in i think that would definitely be sick to see and i think i'm gonna have to hop on that game very damn soon number four it's spritzy and the waggly spoon and these guys are on forza horizon one ae 86s right now ripping it and getting the tandems man this guy reeled him in on that initiation i really did enjoy that but this definitely brings me back to the roots of forza man why we fell in love with forza horizon as a series definitely feel like going back and revisiting that number three this week gopro lopez now this man caught me off guard when i opened up this email he's got this all professional man logos he's got damn everything going even his wheel cam has the damn triple screens with a monitor overlay man so just from the get-go this man was killing it and the more i sat through this clip the more i became hypnotized to the actual clip itself now the only thing i would have really loved to see was maybe an expanded kind of wheel cam switching back and forth between cuts um i think that would have been really cool to kind of get a close-up on the entire rig because if i'm not mistaken that's a big boy setup and that's the whole fanatic setup that's the cs pedals you know the whole damn thing i don't know the names of it exactly i don't run fanatic equipment anymore but um, i know that's a pretty damn penny to have the whole triple screens makes me want to up my game man i mean looking at this now makes my setup look you know what you know what i'm saying man. i'm not jealous i respect it is i guess what i'm getting at i respect somebody that has a really nice damn setup and rig because i know what goes in to making all that happen i mean like i said the man's driving speaks for himself on this clip and i mean i had to cut it somewhere man i definitely did but i will leave gopro lopez's channel down below with this full link for you guys to check out i mean the man's a machine i would definitely love to be able to see him tandem in a pack see how he does i mean i'm sure the man would kill it regardless but i think that'd be really cool to see you know a level like this getting into a tandem in a pack maybe he sent in clips before i don't know man but number two 
we have Risotto OO with a 10 man live for speed tandem dropping in for today's top 10. And I know what you're saying right now, Slap, why the hell do you have a 10 man live for speed tandem at number two for this week? Now, I definitely feel like, uh, you know, this should have been number one. But like I said, though, this was a crazy week to judge, but I had a lot of clips coming in and I felt like number one really deserved number one this week, no matter how big the train was on live for speed i respect these guys line i respect everything that they're doing right now but unfortunately number one i think is just a little bit better not taking anything away from these guys but here we go man number one this week we have a few returning drivers on top 10 they're nice to have to do a little introduction to see where they placed last few times but today they're number one man i feel for a damn good reason i'd love to know down below did you agree with this week's top 10 and these guys actually gave me two clips, one of which was the raw gameplay, and then the second one was the replay overlay. Now, I did overlay that onto their screen, so that was my doing on there, just to kind of show you guys both angles, but an absolute flawless run. And the reason I wanted to show you guys the main original clip was just to show you it was all done in one take. There was no cutting, there was no changing. And you know, my hat is off to Kelvin and Sakea for just an absolutely crazy line man this is the first time i've ever come across this track i didn't even know it was actually in the game and i'm definitely going to be looking for this for my own mods uh because this is really cool to see this in here if you guys don't know this is an actual thing people do this on live tv all the you know the pro fd drivers will go here and they will score their own amount of points you know they have things that they have to hit drift shifters is what they call them and you know they just absolutely murdered this whole section in chris forsberg's 370z man they had the vk 56 de pumping out 850 horsepower man absolute legends on top 10 big thank you for sending in all of your clips we have a few montages down below for you guys to check out including rolling twins which you guys are looking at right now just a beautiful r35 taj trying to get as close as possible to that wall man but i want to give a big thank you for everybody that did send in their clips today if you guys don't know how to send in your clips there's an email and a template found down below for you guys to fill out the slap train business at hotmail.com you guys are going to send that to either public or unlisted if it's private i cannot see it man we also have another really nice montage from close the diff once again this man is not new to top 10 and he's producing some seriously great montages man the editing is on point the music the style i wouldn't change a damn thing make sure you guys go check out that down below close the diff we also have another one here from c toretto forza horizon 3 now this one was a pretty decently length montage with some really great editing throughout the entire thing that's why i really liked it but it really felt professional in that sense and that's why i kind of felt i really enjoyed this montage but uh as you guys don't know welcome to drift wars Guys are killing it, man. Full link down below for you guys to check out. Hoonigan's 99 with yet another banger, man. Today, he's replicated Adam LZ's 240, and he has done a great job bringing this to life here on a set of course. Now, he did say in the email that uh, he actually spoke with Adam on this mod to make sure that it was exactly what he wanted. Even the physics came down to Adam's decision, which I thought was really cool. Full link down below. Ladies and gentlemen, huge thank you for coming out to another Top 10 Drifts. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Don't forget to slap that like button. I'll see you guys back next week for another Top 10, man. It's your boy, Slap Chain. I'm out.